Hello. The GK61 is without a doubt the most popular budget custom keyboard, even with the newer boards like the TM680 or the CIY Test 68. The GK61 is a staple keyboard and is basically goated in the keyboard scene. Most keyboard content creators such as myself, Squashy Boy, and Switch and Click did start with a GK61. Glasses started with a GK64, but he's built different, so it's fine. But why does everyone start with a keyboard like a GK61? Well, today I'm going to build one and go through some stuff on why this keyboard is the ideal beginner keyboard to start with. Basically, this keyboard is one of the best beginner budget boards out there, so I haven't really done a video on it, so it's time. Time for today's sponsor, Surfshark. Surfshark VPN is one of the easiest VPNs I have ever used. Surfshark VPN basically keeps all of your private online information safe and secure. And not only that, Surfshark VPN also allows you to travel the world virtually just from the tap of a finger. So with Surfshark VPN, you can easily access and unblock streaming websites like Netflix, which is something I use on a daily basis. If you didn't know, I'm a massive weeb. And because I live in Singapore, they do not have the biggest variety of animes or shows for me to watch. So with Surfshark, I basically can virtually travel to Japan and trick Netflix that I am living in Japan so I can watch more anime. Yay. The second most useful feature is probably getting the best deals online when shopping. As you all know, I am the budget man, so with Surfshark telling me that there are better deals out there, this really helps me on my shopping for videos and stuff. Really helpful. If anything I said has piqued your interest, then go ahead and use my code LUISTO for 83% off and three extra months for free. That's a freaking good deal. Or you can also just use the link in the description down below. Thank you Surfshark for sponsoring this video. We are gonna go back to the budget keyboard now. All right, thank you Surfshark for sponsoring the video. The GK61X, a 60% custom keyboard kit. The perfect entry level keyboard kit that cost about 67 US dollars with Bluetooth support and split spacebar. If you are somewhat of a beginner, a 60% layout basically means you do not have your F row, your number pad, or your arrow keys. Check out this video, uh, I explain more about layouts. Let's start talking about the main feature that attracts every single beginner out there. The main reason why this board is good is due to the fact that it is a hot swappable kit. This basically means you do not have to solder to install your switches or desolder to remove your switches. So with this, you can easily change out your switches for those who are unsure of what kind of switches you like. You can change it out anytime with ease. Also, the amount of mods that people have discovered with the GK61 is basically endless. So that's a good tip for those who want to improve your GK61. But back to the topic of switches, I will be using one of the most popular budget switches out there, the Gatoron Milky Yellows. It is a linear switch with a very unique sound with a 50 gram force required to actuate them. It is a perfect balance of being not too heavy but not too light at the same time. It's manufactured by Gideron and cost about $30 for 70 pieces. You would only need 61 switches but getting 70 would be a safe bet for you in case you bend any pins or spoil any switch. As for keycaps, I chose something decently priced for a beginner, it cost about 31 US dollars. I know most of you guys like keycaps with graphic designs and honestly, I do like them a lot too. I think it makes the custom keyboard a lot more interesting compared to your basic Razer keyboard kind of stuff. So yeah, this keycap set is made from PBT, that is the material you are going to look out for when looking for budget keycaps. As for the profile of the keycaps, it is OEM profile. OEM is an extremely basic and beginner-friendly profile and most gamer keyboards actually do use the OEM profile. As I mentioned earlier, the GK61 has a 60% layout so you can basically use any keycap set because it doesn't require any special keys whatsoever. So let's start building our GK61. I got mine in white, GK61s usually come in either black or white and full RGB support. We love RGB, don't we? At the back of the case, we do not have any adjustable feet. Most custom keyboards do not use adjustable feet, instead they use these rubber bump-ons to prevent your keyboard from sliding across the table while you're doing your gaming stuff. For connection to your PC, you can either use the detachable USB-C connection, they do provide a wire for that, or you could use Bluetooth and you do have to buy the version that is for Bluetooth. Starting off, we will be removing all the screws we can see at the top to remove our plate. What I'm doing is not necessary to build your keyboard, but this is a mod that I'm going to teach you guys called the full mod, which I think is a very simple mod that any of us can do. This simple modification is usually for cases made from plastic or sound extremely hollow. So a full mod basically helps dampen the sound and makes it sound less hollow. Once you unscrew everything, you can remove your plate. Before removing your PCB, do take note that there is a wire connecting the PCB to the battery. So do not just yank it out. Do it slowly and carefully. 
As for the foam, you can basically use any kind of foam to throw into your case. I'll be using some foam that I got from the shipping packages, so I'm just gonna cut it to the size of the case and install it. Once the foam is cut to size, make sure that all the standoffs are not blocked and are visible, and make sure that your wire has a hole for it to come out of as well. Next up is lubing of switches. I highly recommend this, but you can also skip this step. This does require quite a bit of accessories, but they will not break a bank, and you can use all of them for future builds. Lubing switches is extremely simple, but it's just a little bit tedious, especially if it's your first time as well. But trust me, it makes the switch sound a lot better, and you are going to use this keyboard for at least a year, right? So, loop the switches. You can search up some loop and unloop, like, differences. It makes a difference. Starting with our switch opener, there are two sides to a switch opener, the Gatoron housing side and the Kale housing side. Because our switches are the Gatoron milky yellows, so we will be using the Gatoron side. Alright, so all you need to do is push the switch down on the switch opener, which will pop it open. I usually open up all my switches before I start lubing, so I separate them into their different parts, spring, stem, top housing and bottom housing, and then proceed to lube them and close them. That feels like a nicer workflow to me, but you can do anything you want. Once you're done opening your switches, you just do 3 strokes off your brush with an even amount of loop. It should not be visible. 1, 2, 3 on both sides and go around the center of the switch. Put the spring back in and as for the stem, you're gonna get an even coating on all sides of the stem. Put the stem back in, ensure that the stem is facing the correct direction and put the switch back together. Now all you need to do is repeat that process and spend the next 6 hours of your life lubing the 70 switches. That's how long I took for my first time lubing. That was the hardest part, congrats, we are on the easy part now. We are going to install our switches. Ensure that your switch lines up with the holes on the PCB, I'm not going to use any specific terms but just make sure it lines up and install your switches. After installing your switches, do remember to snap a photo, take a video, you know, it, you might not see them after you put on your keycaps. And now for everyone's favourite part, putting on our keycaps. When putting on your keycaps, just take your time, take it slow, it is very calming and satisfying in my opinion and take it as a reward for lubing your switches. Unless you didn't, then lube your switches, dude. And yeah, here's the final product. I'll leave a typing test at the end of the video. Overall, it is an extremely beginner-friendly board to work with. When I started, they didn't even have split space bars, so they are making constant improvements to the GK61. Thank you for Banggood for sending this over. I'll be leaving some links for all the products I use in the description down below, so you can go check that out. Also, thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Check that out too. But the GK61 is something I would definitely recommend to anyone who is trying to start in this hobby. So yeah, leave a like, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I do make a lot of custom keyboard content. If you are new to the channel, subscribe, like the video, uh, comment something down below, comment if this helped or not, and what other tips you guys want. I have some other videos you can check out. I do switch comparisons and some beginner guides once in a while. So go check those out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.